In this video, I'm going to be bringing you one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I just want to make sure that you know that I stream or that uh, we post Madden 22 tips and tricks every single day on YouTube. So if you've not already subscribed to the channel, I want to encourage you to do that uh, down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to let you know that we actually have released uh, or a um, we have a way that you can get Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides completely for free uh, that we release throughout the course of the Madden 22 season. All you have to do is sign up for our text message membership. And the way you can do that, it's completely free for you. All you have to do is pull out your cell phone and text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. That number is at the top left-hand corner of your screen. And I would just let you know that we release new videos every single week. So, or we release new um, offensive and defensive guides every single week. So you're gonna get a ton of schemes for the course of the year and you get them completely for free. So again, all the way, all you have to do to get those is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Now the play that we're gonna be going over in this video is play Mesh Post. This is a fan favorite for years and this is really, 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 really good this year. So I wanna go over Mesh Post. And the first way we're gonna run this does require like a backfield master or a hot route master of some sort. And the reason I like to do it this way first is because I think it's gonna really stretch the defense horizontally. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put the triangle receiver on a flat route. And that's, only, that's our only adjustment. We're gonna motion the circle receiver to the outside and kind of snap him just as he gets to the numbers. And really our first read on both sides is can we throw the flats? Now in this example, I, I kind of put hard flats out there. But what I want to show you is on this left side. I really want to spend a few seconds really highlighting the effectiveness of the table route. So if you look at this table route, I'm just going to pass this to the left. And on the short side of the field, it's really important that it has to be to the short side of the field. But when you throw the table route to, a short, to the short side of the field, it does not matter if they are manned up. It does not matter if they have a hard flat. It does not matter what they do. Triangle, as you see, will always get open on that table route. So that's one of the reasons why I absolutely love this passing concept um, because you're going to easily be able to take one simple little route and make it darn near impossible for your opponent to stop your quick, your ability to hit them quick. Okay, so that's why I like the table route in the first example. Now on this right side of the field, I just wanna go over this just because just I want you to see it. If they don't have a hard flat, okay, let's say they have just a purple, they don't have a hard flat. Um, if they don't have a hard flat, you're gonna see here that I can pass say, this tight end and he's gonna get decent separation, but honestly, not that great a separation in the world. This is more of a pull route, really designed to, you know, obviously if it's there, you're gonna throw it, but if it's not there, you're gonna quickly move on to your next read or your next progression, which is going to be your post route. And so your post route, what you're gonna see here, is he's going to be open pretty much against every single coverage. This year's game really favors this specific type of post route from the Gun Bunch out of the CLCX playbook. Um, and, and I really wanna capitalize, kind of spend just a second talking about it you're gonna see that this post route really gets into a unique position on the field. Now, if I don't motion him, I can just run as is, and you'll see there that it's gonna be open. The reason that I like to motion him is just I think it helps with the spacing and the timing of the rest of the play. And again, you have to remember, we're anticipating that they're gonna put a vertical hook zone on that left side, on the bunch side. And so if they put a vertical hook zone out there, this little motion out right here is just gonna help because it's gonna pull that vertical hook zone up. And as you can see, I can check it down to the drag. Now, let's say for example, your opponent is a little bit savvy and he knows that you're likely to do something like this. So his decision is he's gonna go user that route completely off of the jump. As soon as the ball is snapped, he is going to run to that route. What you're gonna see that we can do is we can easily just check it down to these drags. Both of these drags are really good. The one that you're probably gonna hit more times than not is actually gonna be, um, it, it, more times than not, uh, it's going to be the route to the square receiver, your solo receiver. 
but I did want to hit on one little thing with this and that is that if they're playing these hard flats they try to get underneath on you and they're really trying to kind of take away everything all you have to simply do is just playmaker these routes up and what you'll see is they're going to go up the field and now you have basically a vertical threat um, in combination so if you get a look like this you know where they're really playing you know kind of some underneath coverage they're really dropping people in coverage a lot um, this could be a, just a simple little trick again you're just playmakering up if you watch that R1 you see I can throw that in that pocket whether they climb with him or not so this play honestly is one of my favorite plays year in and year out now another way that you can run this play is a little bit more of a zone specific setup but I want to go over it because it's really good um, specifically against Mabel coverage so what we're going to do is we're going to take the square receiver and we're going to put him on a out route we're going to put the r1 receiver on a hitch and then we're going to do that same motion snap and what you're going to see here is the running back is going to basically cut upfield and should get open against pretty much everything you saw the seam flat actually match him there that's actually normally not going to happen uh, i'm just going to put a clap out there just so you can see it because it's very unlikely that they're going to match that guy um, it's just primarily due to the fact that in Madden 22, in practice mode, you can't set zone drops in your pre-play. But as you see right there, we're able to hit that route. And that route's really good against zone coverage. And so what's going to happen is you're going to see they're going to do a lot of different things to try to stop that, that uh, table route. They're going to put a hard flat out there. They're going to you know, maybe peek it with their user. You know, They're going to do all of these different things to try to stop that table route. What I like about this is now we come from the same basic look and basic routes, but now he's cutting up the seam and is a really, really good little cover, um, little cover three beater right there. Now we didn't go over the mesh post original setup against really anything other than cover three, but suffice it to say that this thing is a beast of a play. Um, this, this post route is really good against man. Um, you see that even though they had actually pretty good coverage on that play. I didn't wait on that route long enough. You need to learn to wait on this a little bit, but you want to wait for them to really cut. So like right there, um, cover two man actually is what, something interesting about cover two man this year. That's a little bit different than years past is when, when you get cover two man, one of the things that I've been noticing is if there's no vertical threat, those safeties will really drift to the middle. So. You kind of need to practice that low ball, you know, get that low ball, get it away from the safeties. Uh, but as long as you keep this away from the safeties, this route should be pretty money for you. Again, you see kind of right in that pocket and see how you get that dive catch. That's what's really cool about that play is you get this dive catch to that circle receiver. Now, very likely that if they are running this uh, coverage on you, one of the other things that you're going to be able to do, though, is your little mesh routes. They're going to basically, especially on next-gen Madden, they're going to do a really good job of creating separation against press man. And the reason why they're going to do such a good job is because of the physics of the game. They're literally going to run into those players, and you can easily check down to your drags for a couple of yards here and there. So you've got your drag route, you've got your post route, but the main route that I like to hit against main coverage, to be honest, is the table route. It's really, really good. You see the natural pick and natural rub that we create with that drag and the table route. And as you see, it's able to get up field for about 15 to 30 yards. And that's not a fluke at all. If they press man out of this, again, same thing. Watch that. He gets rubbed and now you're out for nine yards, 10 yards. It's a really good man beater. It's a really good zone beater. Um, it's just one of my favorite routes in the game. To put it as simply as I possibly can, that route is so good against really everything that they're gonna wanna do uh, defensively. So please, please, please add the tail route to your offense. This is mesh post. There's obviously several other ways to run it. One of the other ways that we like to run this is you can do the, the motion over slant like that right there. Um, this is really good in case they were saying pressure. So you've got that read as well. But thanks for watching this video. Again, if you want to get my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides in my text message membership completely for free, those are exclusive videos that only text members can get. And the way that you sign up for the text membership is by texting the word Madden to 208-218-6900.
Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. We're going to be streaming a lot. we got some really good material coming out, new ebooks we're working on. So stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed with your notifications on because we got a ton of content coming your way for Madden 22.